Hello YouTubers, how you doing? My name's Will from At The Tap and today I'm going to do a full review of Jopla. Now Jopla is a lot like uh, Dropbox but a bit more interesting in my opinion. Now here you can see this is what it looks like when you first open the application which has to tell you the drop down menu bar. Now this is what you get, you see you have the share file, capture screenshot or compose note and on the side here is the quick launch so you can get there uh, easier and simpler. And then you can see here my latest drops, I've recently uploaded two the file sharing site. Now you can see the preview on the side here. If you click on there, you get a double view, so it'll pop out in this application. You can tweet it, Facebook it, email it, or you can trash it. Uh, either way, if you want to. Now, if you want to see all of your files that you uploaded to your website, uh, then you can by going into Dropla website itself. Now do bear in mind this does actually work for Mac as well as Windows and also the iPhone, so that's a bonus in itself. Uh, now. Moving into the application again, as you can see, you have the upgrade to Pro, where you can have preferences. Preferences, you just uh, configure uh, your sort of like controls that you want to uh, set out that you can remember yourself, it's most easiest. We can start at login. Uh, you can see you have your account here, um, but you know, you can upgrade the Pro. Now, this is where it downfalls itself. Uh, what I mean by a downfall is it's uh, only for one year. Uh, but this actually has a you know, bit more uh, to it. For instance, you don't have any more advertisements. So when you upload it, you won't have advertisements so people will see it. Uh, so it'll be ad-free. Uh, you have larger uploads, so you can upload about a gigabyte or whatever. Uh, private drops, so you can add additional layer of privacy to your drops. And of course, you can customize options as well. Now, that does run into £27. So I yet haven't tried that myself. Um, but you can see here, this is how much space you're allowed to have uh, until you have to upgrade it to the uh, full Pro version. Um, now that's really it for the application. Now, if you want to go and drag and drop an image, you can by dragging in like so. And you can see there, it's timing itself. Bring up a nice little pop up notification. All I'll do is click onto that, uh, and then you can see there, there is the image. Now, this is um, the ad, unad finish, I'll say. So you can see this advertisement at the bottom, so people can click there. If they do wish to so if they wish to do so. Um, now coming into the uh, well, you know this sort of menu here. This is where you can do a bit more information. For or shall I say, you can do a bit more options. For instance, you can Facebook like normal. You can copy, embed it, or email. Um, but you know it's okay for what it is. It's pretty cool. I think it's more better than Dropbox uh, for one reason only because it you know you can actually have um, what do you call it the uh, one year um, sort of like unlimited side of what you can do with it. Uh, with Dropbox, of course, you can sign up for 50 gigabyte, 20 pound a month. Um, that isn't necessary for some people, but Dropla, in my opinion, has shined its own torch at me. Now, that may not make no sense, but this application is top notch for uh, what I'll be using it for. However, guys, that's my full review and thoughts of Dropla. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do thumbs up and subscribe. And as well, check my website for the full review, uh, written a full review, so I say. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.